Welcome back everyone. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these two functions and I'm going to delete these two buttons here. And I'm going to what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to change this text to something else here because I'm going to show you that functions can do something else. So we're going to it's always good to make your buttons um, and this may sound incredibly obvious, but it's always good to make your buttons uh, say what they're going to do. So uh, one is very ambiguous. You don't know what's going on, but if you say change the text the user knows exactly what that's supposed to do, all right? Um, so now if we click on this again, it just still says one because that's what's in the JavaScript file. Now if we go ahead and um, we're going to go and delete that. Now just for argument's sake, uh, it's better to call your functions uh, and name them appropriately as well. So function one, two, three is not exactly the best way. You want it to say, uh, you know, uh, change the text all right and if we go ahead and one tri trick I like to do is I like to copy this and I like to paste it in there like that okay so we got change the text and um, so now that we do this it uh, it should work and what you can do is uh, one thing you can use the alert for and sometimes I like to do is just to see if it actually gets there and it does work okay so the the changing of the names uh, that actually is it can be a problem, especially with debugging. Uh, you can change the name of the, the uh, function and then you make a typo or something like that or something um, something like that happens. All right, so what we need to do is we need to, we can't just say um, change the paragraph to this. Now that's exactly what we wanted to do and re uh, remember that comment function? What we wanted to do is change the uh, paragraph and that's what P stands for by the way is paragraph text. So that's what we wanted to do. Now wouldn't wouldn't programming just be super awesome as if we if we could actually do that but we can't do that we have to actually learn the syntax of javascript here so what we need to do is we need to type in id equals all right and then this id equals and then we're going to type in two apostrophes and we're just going to say um something like uh para graph text just like that. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not adding in spaces and, and the reason is, is that as soon as you add a space uh, in the in the worlds of computers that's like adding in a completely different object. So uh, paragraph is kind of one computer object and I'm, and I'm oversimplifying here but uh, if uh, paragraph is one computer object uh, paragraph space text is two computer objects but paragraph no space text is one computer object. So we're just going to change it to ID paragraph text. Okay. So the next bit here is going to be a little bit of typing, but don't worry about this. Um, what we need to do is, is this is just how we do it in JavaScript. So what you need to do is you need to type in a uh, document. Okay. Dot get element and then by ID Okay, and you notice how I'm capitalizing everything there. Uh, it's very good to be case sensitive like this. And then what we need to do is, what I like to do is I like to type in two uh, brackets here. And I also like to type in two apostrophes like that. And you want to do, you want to do paragraph text just like that. Or you can copy this over and put it in there. Okay, so what this is, what this small line of code is doing is saying we need to find the ID of paragraph text. Now, the, paragraph, the ID could be anything. It could be in the button. It could be anywhere. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, element ID, and we're going to change it, change the paragraph text. But what do we need to change it to? Okay, we need to type in another dot, and we're going to type in inner HTML, and make sure HTML is capitalized, and we're going to equal this. Okay, another two apostrophes, and we can change this to uh, whatever we want. We say we changed the text, okay? And then we put a semicolon at the end of that because we are finished that. And you'll notice that the warning sign went away. And there we go. So we got, um, so first things first is that we set up the paragraph tag into paragraph text. And then in our JavaScript, we found it. And that's what this document.getElement idea does is it finds that tag. And then what we need to do is change it here. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to put this here just like this. Uh, so that's what it should look like here, and um, and if you want to do that, now I I 
purposely have I have a bigger monitor, but uh, what I, I the reason why I do do this in such a small is so that it works better and people can see everything that I'm doing a little bit more. Okay, so if we go change the text and voila, we have changed the text. Okay, and that's all it is. Right now, obviously, if we click it again, it it works. Uh, it doesn't work because we've already changed it. Now, if we wanted to do two things uh, back and forth, uh, that uh, we could do that as well. Now, you'll also notice that you could do this. You could have an unlimited amount of paragraph tags. So if I just copy this over here and I typed in paragraph text two, right, and then I put change the text, you'll notice that the f the since I changed this element ID over here, um, the function only changed this first element ID. So I said function text two, and then uh, what happens is is that it only changed uh, paragraph text. Okay, so if we did paragraph text two like this, uh, you can see that the bottom one changed, okay? And uh, that's how you change text, and that's how you can do anything within, uh, or d uh, change the text within JavaScript. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.